to another unboxing video here at Pips and Chits. Today I will be unboxing the Kickstarter 2019 edition of Skulk Hollow, designed by Eduardo Baraf, Seth Johnson, and Keith Majetka. It's for two players. It runs roughly about 40 minutes for ages 8 and up with a, about a medium complexity. On Board Game Geek, as of this recording, it was ranked at 7.8 out of 10. And so let me go ahead and turn over the box. You can see some of the artwork here. And I'll go ahead and read uh, what the objective is. In Skull Call, two players take the roles of either a towering behemoth of a guardian trying to eliminate the clan of foxes who have been causing havoc on the countryside, or a band of fox and heroes out to vanquish the evil beast that has been terrorizing the land and reunite the four kingdoms of Boar. The Guardian wins the game by either eliminating the Foxen King or gaining enough tribute. The Foxen Heroes win the game by eliminating the Guardian. And from what I've gathered online, a lot of people have compared this to the uh, Attack on Titan PlayStation game. And with this was the Kickstarter promo pack, and we'll get to that in a minute. So let's go ahead and open up the box here. Let's get rid of the cellophane first. First thing I can tell you, it looks like there might be some UV spotting on this uh, box here. Can't really... Yeah, it looks like a little bit. There's some reflections here, so there's some UV spotting. Interesting art style. Uh, it kind of reminds me a little bit of a cartoon, but cell shading at the same time. Uh, I kind of like that. So let's go ahead and open it up. Put the box aside here. Got the box top. Ooh, a very nice, thick, very nice uh, manual here. Boy, the page, the, the, the cover page here is really nice and thick. Uh, looks like we have a little bit of lore here. Really pretty map. Talk about the objective and components. Very colorful pages here. Uh, we have the game setup. A setup example. This is always nice when uh, publishers include what, what it should look like as, as you prepare the game and identify all the different parts. Uh, how to play. We have a cleanup phase. Uh, the hero turn, what, what the hero can do, what their actions are. Then for the, the other player, the guardian turn. Uh, dealing wounds, game end, handicap, some, some uh, additional terms. Hero abilities, looks like we have different... Uh, we have a purple and blue, green, and kind of like a burgundy or a reddish color here. Our different kings, we have the King of War, the Prince of Guile, the Queen of Blessing, and the Princess of Tactics. Really neat artwork here. I really dig the artwork here. Guardian characteristics, what it looks like their different actions are all explained. Just from looking at this, I mean, it looks like it's really clean and concise. Um, oh, okay, so it looks like here's the Guardian Grack, the Guardian Apoda. Uh... The Guardian Tanthos and the Guardian Raptra. So if we have four different Guardians here in the game. And all together, this is about 19 pages. Have a little insert here. Pencil first, a little catalog of some of their games. Herbaceous, Sunset of the Water, Heroes Welcome, Legendary Creatures. We have, it looks like, a map of boar. Really nice. And some lore here. It looks like the journal. I won't go ahead and read that, but that's pretty nice. Here's the player board. Decent thick, two-sided. Not sure. There's one side that's got dashes around it, and one side that does not have the dashes. Not sure if there's a difference there, or if that's just a visual thing to make it easier for some people to, to, to make out the different territories here. We have our guardians. They're very large. Wow, they're big punch outs here. So art on, you can see art on one side 
and whoop, it just kind of fell out there but uh, you get an idea this is a, a big guardian here and the, the path that your foxen would take up and do different damage to different uh, components or, or areas on the different guardians. And move to the next one. Wow, just look at that artwork. Isn't that neat? Wow, this is where trees growing on his shoulders. He's like a big bear. He's a mountain. And here's our fourth guardian here. Okay. And then the guardian player boards. There should be one for each one of them, sure enough. And then we have one for the foxen. Boy, the insert's really nice too. Another vacuum, uh, looks like a little vacuum plastic. We have a bag of tokens, uh, cubes here, plastic cubes that I imagine are for your power. We have some health uh, wooden uh, with some silk screen on here. It looks like your health and I would imagine something that's got a wound on there with the uh, white. Uh, we have green as well. I'm not quite sure what the green one is, but we have a um, same. Then we have a bag of what appears to be blue wooden uh, meeples here, tokens, uh, bones, and possibly a rib cage. I'm not quite sure. We have four different packs of cards. That's really neat. We've got, uh, looks like a pack for each individual uh, guardian here. We'll open that up. Oh, nice. There's their big meeple. These are large meeples. Remember, it's the foxen against the guardians here. So here's our one for Rapta and uh, Raptra, that is, and the cloud. I believe this one has flight and it can actually leave a portion of the board. And um, that's represented by the cloud icon. Their individual deck of cards in here. Go ahead and open up the other ones so you guys can see those. So we'll open up Grack next. Same thing, deck of cards, individual deck of cards for Grack. And it looks like his big token there. And he's got something else down here. Oh, an individual, I'm not quite sure. It looks like a little fox and token there. Specialized one with a little cross, cross on it. Let's see that. But uh, really nice. Wow, look at how thick these guardians are. That's pretty nice. All wood and very nice. Okay. Got two more to go. I don't know if you can see on camera too, but the cutouts here, the vacuum pack of this plastic, actually the there's a silhouette of the guardians down here. So you can tell that this one is for Rapta and this one is for Tanthos down here. Okay, we're opening up this one. Oh, look at that. This is the big octopus one here. And it looks like he's got a bunch of tentacles, I imagine, come out on the board and do something. But uh, anyway, there's, there's Tanthos. And then lastly, we have Apoda. Go ahead and open Apoda up. Also, individual tokens in here. I like that they each have their own bag as well, so you can keep keep them all uh, together and then put them back in the box. That's really clever. I really like that. That seems like they want the extra extra step there. So we'll put a poda away. Uh, now let's look at our foxen. So we'll open up this tuck box here. And we have our different meeples here, different colors with different silk screening effects on them. I guess the Imagine tells us uh, which uh, foxen that they are that are when they're out on the field, you can tell. Pretty nice. And then I'll go ahead and open up one set of cards here. Just so you can see the art style again. Oops. 
So we have the King of War, Prince of Guile, Princess of Tactics, the Queen of Blessing, and our different cards. I don't know. Some of them are yellow. Oh, okay, because I guess these are your hero ones so de uh, denoted by the, uh, the gold meeple here. And I imagine their health and their power pool. And then the Foxen cards themselves, all the different tactics that they can take. Very nice. Now we have our different, uh, I guess, Foxen themselves. We have our Knight. We have our Rogue. Different color, notice too. We have a Dark Rogue. I think that's the, just for aesthetic reasons. I don't think that there's any difference in them. It's just that uh, I remember during the Kickstarter campaign that they were uh, one of the unlocks, I believe, was to change up, change them up so they all didn't look exactly the same. Very nice. You know, another nice thing I'm noticing about this box, too, is uh, it's got some kind of built-in uh, support on, on the sides that go all the way up to the top of the box on all the corners. And I'm gonna lift this out sometimes, you never know, but sometimes people put, no, nothing down here, nothing in the bottom. Sometimes, you know, some developers or some game designers will put a little surprise on the bottom of the box. You'll find that like Cards of Humanity or uh, what was the game? Uh, Time Stories had a little surprise if you looked at the bottom of the box. So here we go. Here's the Ancient Relics mini expansion. This is um, all Kickstarter exclusive here. I don't think this will be available for retail, but uh, let's see what you get in here. You get a Heroes Relic Cache, Guardian Relic Cache. Uh, you get a one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight Ancient Relic cards. And a description, many expansions set up, uh, gameplay, what to do. But uh, hopefully this will, you know, either add some extra challenge to the game or uh, something else that uh, uh, I have to read about. I can't, can't tell you off the top of my head right now, but looks like anything that adds a little bit of additional variety. I can tell you it's a, being a two-player game. It's totally asymmetric. Each guardian has their own powers. Each of the heroes have their own powers too, so there's a multiple of combinations that you can play here. But um, anyway, that's the unboxing of Skull Colo. I hope you enjoyed it. If you do, go ahead and leave me a comment uh, in the uh, comment section below. Give me a thumbs up. Uh, I'll even take some of the uh, criticism too. Uh, I mean, we're just growing this channel right now, me, basically. But uh, anyway, I hope you enjoyed today's unboxing. Take care.